Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well a few videos ago or a little while ago we did a video about showing and hiding a section on button click with Elementor. And when we did that we used a bit of script that the first time you clicked it you actually had to click it twice. And this question comes up quite a lot. So I've redone this so we've only got to click it once. So I'm using toggle JavaScript for this particular one. So that you just have to click it once to appear and once again to disappear. So let's get started. I've got this page open in Elementor. Let's delete all the code I've got here. In fact, we can just delete this whole button and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well I've got a section here and this is the section that we're going to hide or show or hide and show I should say. So I'm going to go into the section, little blue tab at the top. I'm going to go over to the advanced tab on it. We're in the section, edit section, advanced. I'm going to give it a CSS ID. And let's give it a different one. Let's call it section 2, sec 2. Call it whatever you want. It wants to be unique and it wants to mean something to you. In fact, let's call it section hide. Sex hide. There we go. Sec hide. Okay, so we want to remember that. So we're going to use that for the name to be able to hide and show this particular section here. Great. Now I'm going to add the button that I want to hide and show it with. And you can just start a new section wherever you want to put your button. I've got an empty section right here, so I'm going to put it right here. Let's go to our matrix. And rather than use a button module or widget, we're going to use an HTML or code widget. Okay, here we are. And this is available in both the free and the paid version of Elementor. If you want to learn more, check out our Elementor playlists below. Okay, well, we've got to create a button. So we'll do that with a bit of code here. I'm going to say button. I'm going to give it a class so we can decorate it and make it our own. If you don't want to and use the default ones for your theme, that's fine too. Let's call it uh, show button, SHBT. Show button, that's my abbreviation for it. Now, when we click this button, we want it to do something. So we're going to say on click, and we're going to have to create a function. So we're going to say equals open some inverted commas we're going to say my function my capital F function and open some round brackets there okay we can close this and put in what we want the actual button to say there because it's put in a closing button bracket for us as soon as we put that closing right hand pointy bracket in there so let's say see more or whatever it is you want your button to say Okay, we've got our button here, and if you want to leave it just like that, that's fine, but I prefer to style mine so they're more in keeping with the site. And we've given it a name so we can do that. We've given it a class name. Okay, well, let's open some style tags and decorate the button how we want it. I'll say style. When I put the right pointy bracket in there, it'll put a closing one in there. I can't put this below the video because YouTube won't let me put pointy brackets below there, but I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it easily. Okay, and we've got to give it the class name. Now we gave it the class name up there, SHBT for show button. All class name, names need a period or a dot in front. It's dot SHBT. Let's open and close some curly brackets and decide what we want to do with this button. Well, the background, I'm going to make that blue. Obviously, you make yours how you want. That's fine. The writing's white, that's fine. Don't want any border on there, got no border. Padding wise, I think I'm going to leave that just as it is. Font size is okay. But let's make a little hover state and have it change color on hover. So I'm going to copy that whole thing there. I'm going to drop down. Just after the T of SHBT, I'm going to put colon, no space colon, then no space in the word hover. So we can set a hover state. Now I want the background to be green when we hover over it. 
that's working fine but as you can see one thing we've got a little underline under our little decoration there I don't want that underline and that greens coming in very quickly I'm going to slow that down a bit so in our regular state to slow it down I'm going to say transition dash duration and it prompts us down below let's make that half a second or something 0.5 seconds now I don't want that underline there so that's happening when we hover over it so we'll say text decoration there it is right there and we'll say none it's fine I've got a feeling it's going to do that when we focus on it as well we can change that if it's if that's a problem so that works for me obviously style your button how you want to you can give give it more padding and rounded corners if you want to up here so we could say padding top and bottom let's give it 15 pixels top and bottom it's got a bit smaller and 20 pixels left and right should get a bit bigger or wider at least let's make that 30 pixels that's made it a little bit wider there obviously if you want to give it round corners you can use border radius there it is right there and a small value some, something like six pixel give it slightly rounded corners as you can see large value if we do sort of 50 pixels it's going to make it pill shaped that's fine I'll just leave that like that obviously you style yours how you wish that's just an example for you okay well here's our section here and we gave it over at the advance but CSS ID of section hide so let's copy that ID go back to our button and we've got to tell this to be hidden now so it's still in our little star block here it was a CSS ID so I'm going to use a hashtag in front of it rather than a dot or a period for a class I'm going to put the class name in there we want to have this section hidden at all times so to make sure that it's hidden I'm going to say display none and as you can see or as you can't see it's gone which is fine okay and what we're going to need to do is create a class now to bring it back so we're going to create another CSS class down below let's just call it sec show section show SEC SHOW and what we want to happen is we want to bring this back so we're going to open and close some curly brackets here and we're going to say display block and that will bring it back we haven't triggered it yet but you'll see when I trigger it in a minute with our JavaScript it'll bring it back so I'm going to say display block I've got to make it important because it's got to override the styles that we got going on there so we've got a little class that says section show or sex show display block important okay let's just close that little gap there and we'll start writing our script now to make this all work we need a bit of toggle JavaScript so it's left pointy the word script and right pointy and it'll put a closing script tag in there in between we have got to create the function that we asked our button to target when we click on it so we're going to say function and what's it called it's called my function my capital function now let's open and close some curly brackets and tell it what we want it to do when it does that and we want a variation on the element and the element equals a document and we want to get that element by its CSS ID so we're going to put dot get element capital E by capital B ID capital I no spaces in between now we have to tell it what section we actually want to get and that's our sec hide section hide right there so let's open and close some round brackets Put some inverted commas in there we'll put that CSS ID in there sec hide great well, let's put a semicolon after that so we can write another line of code 
and we've got to tell it to change the class of it to display block when we click on it if it's displaying none and vice versa so we can go down we can say element class list dot class list and we want it to toggle and we'll give it the class list in between some round brackets again and open some inverted and our class list for this was sec show great well that should actually work for us so let's update this and see if it's going to work roll on down there's our little rounded button let's click on it and our little sections popped up there and every time you click on it it's going to toggle between hiding and showing so there you go there's a way of doing it with a single click for anybody that wanted to know now just notice when we let go of that we've got a little underline that's hanging on there afterwards that's because it's on the focus so let's just fix that what I'm going to do is copy my SBT hover drop down I'm going to change the hover for focus I don't want it to be green when it's in focus so I can get rid of that but I don't want any text decoration so let's update this roll on down there we go there we go and that line's gone now every time we click got it sorted so there you go guys there's how to hide or show a section with Elementor on a single click I hope that's cleared out that question so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesigntechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day